All right, one of the questions we get constantly with this product is why is it two seats? Um, well, there's a couple reasons why it's two seats. One is 82% of miles driven today are with two or fewer passengers. Uh, this product is meant to be of extreme efficiency uh, and we work really hard to deliver that. Um, and the efficiency isn't just on an energy consumption basis, it's on the concept of cleaning, it's also on the concept of reliability and service as well. So two seats unlocks a lot of opportunity aerodynamically. It also means we cut the part count of CyberCab down by a substantial margin. Um, we're going to be delivering a car that has roughly half the parts of all three today. Um, it also means when you need to clean the car as a rideshare asset, you really don't have to worry about navigating multiple doors, multiple seats. Um, you really just have really what looks like a bench seat, easy to clean automatically, um, and you have very few pockets of space where you're gonna have you know, certain things that are obviously not gonna be desirable uh, to maintain on a daily basis. Um, and you can kind of see the aerodynamic advantage by the track difference between the front and rear of the car. So you can see how the track is narrowed at the back. It really gives us a great aerodynamic shape. Uh, it make, helps us obviously get to the efficiency targets that we want. And some of the team tonight will be able to talk more about the efficiency of the product with you. Um, in addition to that, the car is obviously no steering wheel, no pedals, which is really cool. This car runs on V13, which obviously is now going wide to uh, the larger public. At least it will be in the coming weeks, hopefully. Um, some of you hopefully have access to that now. So this car is really running what we're putting out to the public today, which is great. Um, Excuse me, the hardware flow. How are these doors more efficient? These doors help you from multiple reasons. One is it allows for better ingress egress for the fact that we move the B pillar back. This seat actually is in the full rearward position rather than having the B pillar kind of more beside the seat. So you get in and out of the car in any position much easier. Uh, and also, Alex can talk about how we've improved the doors from this product or from this version to future versions that also help with efficiency of the, of the design as well as the efficiency getting in now. Um, so yeah, that's that's a little bit of the of the of the two seater concept. Yeah, that's a little bit on the two seater concept um, on the product with respect to the tires. The tires themselves are. Um, you know, built around efficiency, ride, comfort. We want to have great NVH, great experience in the car. You know, the larger diameter also helps, you know, a bit with the rolling resistance that we're trying to get from an efficiency perspective. Uh, and obviously the futuristic look is something that we're really going for with this product. We want it to look very different as it goes down the road. Um, on the trunk side of things, we have a massive trunk. The trunk is able to fit everything from multiple golf bags to uh, two full-size carry-ons, two full-size check bags all at once. Um, you, can, you can also fit you know, some amount of bicycles in there uh, as well, depending on the size. Um, so we're really putting a lot of emphasis on having a large trunk space that's easy to clean. Wheelchair? Foldable wheelchairs will fit as well. Thank you. Um, on the interior side, we have the largest screen that we'll ever put, or that we've put up to this point in our cars. Um, this is going to be great for all the multimedia experience that you have, whether it's, you know, you know, display from your phone to the screen, or, um, you know, games, media, whatever you, whatever you're thinking that you, you want to do while you're obviously sitting in the car having to drive you. Um, the best part of this is you get the time back, so you'll be able to utilize the screen, your phone, whatever you want while the car takes you to you know, the, your, your destination. What's the size of the screen and the resolution? Uh, it's a 21 inch screen. Uh, resolution is uh, same as uh, Model 3 today, Model 3 Model 1. So I think um, you know, there's a lot of other questions we can answer, but I want to obviously give the team the opportunity to meet with all of you. Uh, the car is really cool. Um, we're really focused on delivering a super efficient, really cool, fun, comfortable product. Um, we'll kind of stop it there as far as like a brief intro and uh, definitely we'll give you guys a chance to sit in the car today, which will be really cool. Um, give you a chance to walk around it inside the stanchions. Um, just one note, the car is prototype. We need to be careful with it. Definitely, please don't obviously 
don't do things that will, will obviously damage the car. We need to obviously keep it in good working shape. So um, be careful with the exterior. Be careful with the interior. We'll let you touch around, but um, just be sensitive to that. All right. Thanks, everybody.